Hey, it's Serial Came here, and I want to give you a kind of a sneak peek tour of what you get, what's inside the Eating for Energy program. Uh, a lot of you have been asking, you know, what it entails, what you, you know, what can you expect. Well, let's have a look together, shall we? So I'm on the front page of Eating for Energy, and I'm just going to scroll down to the table of contents here to give you a sneak peek of what you can expect. So the first part of the book is really what I call understanding the, the nutritional lifestyle. And essentially what we what we go through in the first half of the book is the reason why it's important to adopt more natural foods, more raw foods into your diets. And we also look at the science behind uh, alkalinity, food enzymes, pH balance, uh, the life force behind foods. You know, uh, I'll show you some, some really cool images of Kirlian photographs of... Um, the energy emanating off foods is really, really amazing stuff. So that comes in the first half of the book. The second half of the program is what I call Living the Nutritional Lifestyle Success Guide. I really call it a success guide because that's really what it is. And, and in this second part of the program, I take you step by step through adopting everything we talked about in the first part to make it a reality for you. So <clears throat> we look at how to create an alkaline internal environment, which is very important. It's a very important concept in eating for energy and it's one of the most powerful concepts that uh, that if you put into play and again it's very simple stuff guys if you put this into play you'll get really really profound changes in how you look how you feel and uh, and really all aspects of your health if you're looking to lose weight have more energy it really starts with creating an alkaline internal environment i also show you 12 superfoods that uh, that are again not really exotic these are things you can find in your grocery store that i consider to be superfoods I really consider all foods to be superfoods, but these are 12 really, really important ones. I also give you four essential supplements. And these are things that will really, again, I'm not a huge supplement fan, but there are four things I really believe that we should all be using. And this is what I share in this chapter. Um, obviously making the transition. If you're a meat eater right now and you're looking to transition to more raw foods, I give you step-by-step -step pointers on that. Uh, pH balance and allergies, we look at how allergies develop and why that relates to digestive health, pH balance, and all that other good stuff. And then um, the essential five pillars. These are five kind of really uh, big pillars that will make any aspect of your life better if you apply them. So that's what we go through in chapter 11. Now, uh, you'll notice that the, the add-ons, the bonuses, the Nutrition for Athletes 12-Week Meal Plan, a Healthy Recipe Guide, and the Smoothie and Juice Guide are also included in the actual download uh, portion of Eating for Energy. So I want to quickly go through to the recipe section, and I want to show you some of the awesome, awesome things that you get to enjoy with these recipes. I'm going to show you how easy it is, too. <clears throat> All right, so let's have a look at, uh, I'm just going to scroll. Okay, here's an awesome one guacamole salsa okay well this is essentially just guacamole but again these are simple recipes that take less than 10 minutes to prepare guacamole is one of my favorites and um if you enjoy it as well you'll love this recipe and i'm gonna fast forward here to um let me see do, 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 do. let's go to some of the desserts because I'm, I, I have a sweet tooth you know and uh, i really like the desserts and the cool thing is that veggie sushi with spicy mayonnaise this is an awesome awesome recipe i'm just going through some of my favorites here so again these are raw desserts these are desserts for instance the chocolate mousse i'm going to give away an amazing recipe here so if you have a pen and paper start writing this down because just try this chocolate mousse and i guarantee you'll love it one cup of water half a cup of walnuts unsoaked four dates two tablespoons of cacao powder one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half uh, about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Basically, you put all of this stuff into a high-speed blender, Vitamix, or a food processor. And then you kind of allow it all to smoothen up. And then you can, you can, depending on how you like to take it, you can put it in the fridge to let it cool down and sit. Or you can just let it sit on the counter for about half an hour or so. And believe me, once you have this chocolate mousse, you'll never want to have another type of chocolate mousse unless it's, you know, obviously a raw variation uh, ever again. So the cool thing is that if you look at the ingredients of these desserts, we're looking at actual wholesome ingredients. These are things that you can have for breakfast. You could feed your kids for breakfast because they feature foods and ingredients that provide a huge amount of nutritional quality. So that's just one of them. We have sunset pudding. Again, very simple things. Like these are things you could feed a baby. Bananas, mangoes, strawberries, ground flax. 
and two dates, right? Blend all that up and you've got a great pudding. For you exercisers out there, this would also be an amazing thing to have before your workouts. And if you are if you are an exerciser, believe, um, remember you have the Nutrition for Athletes guide as well. And if I can find it anywhere, um, it's somewhere down here. I'm just kind of sifting through. Uh, as you can tell, this is a nutrition Bible. This is 359 pages of incredible information, but not only information, but strategies and action steps to help you apply all of this into your life. So if we can get there, there we go, nutrition for athletes. So in this really cool component, we show you exactly how to eat before, during, and after longer events. Uh, if you're working out, what to eat before and afterwards. I want to give you some quick examples here of uh, some really cool sport gels that you can make from scratch. Hopefully I'm not making your eyes too dizzy as I scroll down here. So, okay, I'm going to give you a really cool one, high octane. This would be a great sport gel or pudding before or after a workout. Five dates, right? Great source of glucose. Two tablespoons of coconut oil or coconut butter, whatever you like. Half a banana. Two table, two teaspoons of lemon zest. One teaspoon of lemon, lemon juice and a pinch of sea salts, right? Get all that stuff blended up together. And uh, and there you go. So awesome, awesome stuff. And, um, and to finish off, what else do we have? We've got the smoothie and juice guys. So we show you how to make almond milks great smoothies, uh, fresh pressed juices, eggnogs, right? All sorts of great stuff. doesn't matter where you live in the world, whether you have access to some of this stuff or not. There are recipes. Again, there are 120 recipes in Eating for Energy that you can make at your leisure because they take less than 10 minutes to make, right? So great, great stuff here. One of my favorites, the chocolate banana smoothie. Uh, lots of great stuff. Anyways, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of what you get with eating for energy. So if you have any questions about, you know, what it entails, is it, you know, stuff that you've seen before, you may have seen some stuff, you may learn some, some brand new stuff, I can guarantee that. But the most important thing is that if you apply just 10% of what you're going to learn in this program, I guarantee it'll change your life. That's my guarantee. So uh, thanks again. I'm Uriel Kame, and I'll see you on the healthier side.